My name is Joe and I'm the creator of Great Lakes and I'm going to show you guys how to install and use these. Uh, once you're done downloading the profiles, you're, what you're going to do is hit the profile window with this little windows tab right here and hit that, hit the plus sign and hit the import profiles and then just find the uh, zip file that you downloaded these in and just click that and then import. Once that's done, you're going to see these three options, Erie, Michigan, and Michigan Warm. Erie is the black and white, Michigan is the uh, Fuji 400H, and then Michigan Warm is a extra addition of little of the flaws of film sometimes, and you get this little warm, uh, little uh, high tint, and so I like to add that in because sometimes my scans kind of come back like that, so I just try to match it the way it is. And it kind of looks neat. So, um, and then once you uh, install that, you're also going to see these two profiles or presets right here. Um, you're going to see the contrast down and the grain. Um, the thing about the Frontier Scanner is that when you scan negatives, you get really contrast JPEGs back or TIFF files, whatever, however you scan them. And it, sometimes it's beautiful and sometimes it's well too much contrast so I like to tone it down a little bit when I uh, scan them so I can kinda show you guys how I like to edit and so once I uh, you know am editing for a client I can just uh, show you guys how I do it so I'll just hit Michigan I hit contrast and then height grain and that's pretty much how I edit my files and that's you can pretty much you know, sync all of that and it'll look great. So, here it's a little too dark, uh, but this will be great for a black and white. Uh, so, I can show you guys how area looks like too. And so, close that and then just kind of bring the exposure back up. Film and digital are two opposites. Um, Digital, when you shoot an image, you want to underexpose to get all those details. Uh, it's kind of strange how that works, but film is a total opposite, where when you shoot an image, you want to overexpose to get the colors, uh, the skin tones, just to get that very uh, pastel looking color. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so we'll see how this image looks too with Michigan. And I can kind of show you guys the before and after. And so, let's see. Oop. there we go. There we go. So I can hit reset here again, and we'll go back to the full. You guys can kind of see how that looks. Um, here's the before after, and then I'll go to the, the Michigan. Hit that, and then that's pretty much done. I can just hit contrast down, grain and then just sync all the photos that I would shoot in that series and that's how I will edit them um, here's another one kind of show you guys here's here's the the four Michigan if you want to see what Michigan warm looks like it actually looks really good I'll do that alright and so Paige and Andy I'll Hit Michigan, contrast down, grain. That's pretty much it. And that's how I delivered this actually. And here is another one. And I think this was shot at Blue Hour actually. So this would be great to use um, the Erie profile. There we go. And just bringing out all the details. And actually, I want to add more contrast. That's pretty much it. And I'll be done with that one. And I'll reset that before. Contrast down. Green. And I'll probably bring the exposure down just a tad bit. A little bit. That's it. Set that again. So that's what it looks like. Straight out of the camera. Uh, let's try Michigan. 
contrast down green. Probably just straighten that out a little bit. Be uh, another cold day. Um, cold and cloudy, so I'm gonna. I think this has Michigan on there. Just gonna hit reset so you guys can kind of see the straight out the camera files and hit Michigan. Let's see, and then close contrast, bring down, and then probably just. And that's how I would probably maybe bring the exposure just a tad bit. And that's pretty much it. And then I'll kind of show you guys this one. Um, and let's see what I would do. I'll hit the reset again. Um, black and white. It looks good. Black and white, and it looks good with uh, the color profile. So I'll probably just I'll probably just two color for this time around. Um, and contrast sound, and probably bring the exposure. I think. The films came back a little bit overexposed, so I'm not. There we go. And, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And I would probably just leave all these zeroed, and so, and then you can kind of play with the contrast depending on your uh, taste. You can kind of play around with these, add that, uh, but I kind of just leave it as it is. And then probably go to this image again. Same shoot. Have to be set so you guys can kind of see before. Uh, hit Michigan, Perfect. and the close and contrast down, green, and then probably bring the exposure just a bit, and then there we go. I think that looks about right. And then last image here, as you can see that before. Contrast down, green. And probably just bring the exposure up. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, we we'll just hit export. And, and it kind of shows you guys a quick tutorial of how to install and how I like to edit these. Thanks again.